Unfortunately, the escape artist trait won't help you escape those proximity bombs, and I think part of that is because the explosion is a bit delayed both with the proximity bomb and imploders, which makes them hard to dodge even with a jump pack sometimes. Very straightforward myth, time your jumps correctly and it will work. It might not happen very often in a live game, but if you ever get the chance, you now know that it's worth giving it a try. This myth was quite hard to test as the guy who left this myth in the comments didn't really show us any clip or give us details on how it works. So we simply tried mellowing Vader with different timings to see if it would work and after trying it with a bunch of different directions and timings we gave up. For now this myth is busted but since there's so many factors playing in I'm open to revisit this myth in the future if any of you guys managed to figure it out or if there's anything we missed when testing it out. This myth is something that I've always suspected to be true at some points, but haven't tested it until now. We can confirm that the hero pickups will at some points be the same for both teams. My guess is that on game modes such as Supremacy or Walker Assault where none of the teams have a hero, the hero pickup will be on the same spot for both teams. But if one team already has a hero, the pickup will be a normal power up for that team, which we also confirmed through some testing. So when you do see that enemy stealing your hero pickup, it could have been a hero pickup for him as well, depending on if their team had a hero when he picked it up. This myth was very interesting to test as I thought it was going to get busted, simply because they did patch so that all rockets, grenades and other projectiles get stopped by shields. But as you can see, that is not the case for Boba's rocket. It goes straight through both personal and squad shields, making it into a better weapon than I initially thought. So the next time you're playing as Boba, don't hesitate to fire your rocket at rebels hiding inside a shield. Thank you very much for watching the third episode of Star Wars Battlefront Mythbusters. I really appreciate your support on the previous two episodes and your support and myth suggestions is what keeps this series running. So keep it up if you want me to continue this series running for as long as possible. I already have a quite big list of myths to go over. If you missed any of the videos shown on the screen, make sure to click those. Thank you very much for watching and as always, may the force be with you.